Hi there. Here's an unusual knife. It's a Victorinox Spartner Standard with buffalo horn scales. And as you can see, uh, these are really pretty. Uh, I've had a few of these. I've seen a lot of them. This pair is one of the best looking I've ever seen. So you've got this nice contrast here on the front between the light and the dark areas. And on the back here, you've got just like this almost perfect black or darkened outline and then the creamy part in the middle with a lot of depth, a lot of uh, patterning. So I think just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it also has exposed rivets as you notice. Now I think Victorinox used that on the knives they put horn scales on for longer than they did uh, Celador scales. They discontinued it in 1961 for Celador scales. Um, but later on when they were still putting horn scales on their knives they had hidden rivets. So this is a, a, a vintage feature to have the exposed rivets. Uh, I'm going to date this knife somewhere between 1961 because it does have the um, newer style sharpened reamer that they came out with in 1961 that replaced the exposed awl. Uh, so post-61, but whoops, I think pre-1973 because it uh, does have the clip point blade that they discontinued at that time. So, this is a very pretty knife, no doubt about that, um, but what I think makes it really unusual is in addition to those gorgeous horn scales, it also carries the Ellenox Tang Stamp. Now, this is a Tang Stamp Victorinox used from 1957 to 1974. They also used it on some of their economy knives that had some um, cheaper features. But this was just a different tang stamp that they used on some of their regular knives from 1957 to 1974. And so having both the uh, buffalo horn scales and the Ellenox tang stamp, I think, makes this a very unusual, if not rare, knife. Um, I've never seen that combination before. And I was just recently uh, mentioning to a preeminent collector that I had gotten this knife, and he said he'd never seen one. And uh, this is a guy who has just about every Wanger and Victorinox knife of significance uh, over the last 100 years. So if he hadn't seen one and I hadn't seen one, um, I don't know that that necessarily makes this combination rare. Uh, but believe me, they're not just sitting around out there waiting to be uh, grabbed. I have refurbished this knife. Uh, it's had the spa treatment, the full spa treatment. I've done everything to it that I know how to do, a thorough cleaning, polishing, um, sharpening, and I'll oil it before it goes out the door. By the way, this knife will be for sale on my Etsy shop. And this is a good time to remind you, if you've not subscribed to this channel, subscribe because that's how you know when I've got a knife to sell. And um, you might also want to click on the link in the description box or the link in the um, channel heading and follow me on my Etsy shop and follow me on Instagram. Now usually what I do is I make the video and I post the video and the listing on Etsy almost simultaneously. I'll follow up in just you know, a brief uh, period with a picture on Instagram. So if you want to follow me in those two places, if you're out, you can use your mobile phone uh, to see if I've got a knife coming up. Anyway, here's the main blade. As I said, it's been polished and sharpened. It's got a nice edge on it. It still has some light scratches on it. Let's see if I can catch those. You know, that this wasn't able to completely get out. And here's a frustrating thing about Victorinox knives, at least the, the kind that share, you know, large blade and the small blade in one slot, is that you polish them up, you get them mirror polish, you close them a few times, and you get scratches uh, where the small blade rubs the big blade. It's just going to happen. It's just the way they got the thing designed. On the other side, it's, uh, what is it, it's Victorinox Switzerland Stainless Rust Fry with the small V. The knife has great action. All the tools have a nice snap, work perfectly good. Here's that clip point small blade. It does have an issue. It has a bend near the edge. I did my best to straighten that out. It's still visible, as you can see, but the knife, the, the blade will take a good edge all along all along the edge. And while it may not look too pretty there in the light, 
it's wickedly sharp. By the way, when you look at my knives like this, this is like looking at them under a big magnifying glass, remember? All right. And then the opening layer, we've got the um, can opener here. It's got Swiss patent mark on it. That's a vintage feature. The small screwdriver does show some wear. It's been goosed just a little bit there. Not badly, but it's got a little crimp in it. And then the large screwdriver sharpen cap lifter. That's another vintage feature. That tool's in really good shape. Uh, the screwdriver has five turns with a decorative groove. There are your aluminum liners. And here is that flat sharpened reamer, post-1961. No sewing eye. So just another really good look at the outside. I just love those horn scales. Here's a look at the top of the knife. Let me see if I can get the light over here a little better. And the edges. Who else gives you a look at a knife they're selling like this? Okay. It's for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, I hate parting with it, but I can't keep them all. Thanks for watching. And have fun collecting.